Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ channel. Previously, I talked about how to use Cloudflare workers to deploy a free Google Drive directory indexer in five minutes. That is serverless design. You don't need to set up a server. You can just use Cloudflare workers to create application, create web workers to list your Google Drive directory. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to use same Cloudflare workers to deploy a OneDrive indexer. This is my post. So I'm going to go through all steps one by one. A list OneDrive indexer is vcheckdan FODI, fast OneDrive index. There's a front end and the back end back end we'll be using Cloudflare workers. The front end is going to use GitHub page. So let's start. Before that, we can take a look at demo of how it looks like. It will be able to show the basic media file, MP4 file, MP3, pictures, text files, and it's also supported the uh, password protect your folder. I'm gonna show you those setup one by one. Let's start from back end. Cloud Flare workers. After you log into your Cloud Flare workers, just start in creating a worker and give a good name. Drive, and you're gonna change the script. You're gonna use in the back end Cloudflare script index.js file. Just copy everything. And paste it here. There's two parameters you will need to change. One thing is expose path. That's the path in your OneDrive. You may want to only want to list one subfolder under your OneDrive root folder. So then you can put a subfolder here. Uh, if you want to list the whole root drive, then just leave it empty. The most important part is OneDrive refresh token. That's gonna be used to log in to your OneDrive. How can we get the OneDrive refresh token? It's a list in my post here. So we did the backend and then we need to go to this link to get the refresh token. So you will get the error message, but that's fine. Just uh, get the refresh token. So it will sign in to your OneDrive. I already signed in with this username and password. Please make sure you have OneDrive account to sign in first. If not, you need to type in your OneDrive username and password, and you need to let this app to access your info. That's the program behind the whole setup. They will have full access to all files that you have access to. So if you feel it's risky, you can just ignore it and then forget this setup. But for me, I don't put any too sensitive information there. So I would like to try. So go to yes, you have to allow this app to access your folder. So here you will get a refresh token. Just forget those other parameters. You only need to copy refresh token. Copy whole thing, refresh token and then go back to your workers and put in refresh token place, OneDrive refresh token, just between those quote sign and save and deploy. So it will be on this save and deploy. So if, again, if you have a subfolder to expose, you just only want to expose subfolder you put in here. For example, if you have a test folder, 
then you can just put in there. I, I have a test folder here. So I cannot expose only this test folder. So we need to create a GitHub page. So you don't have to do it from scratch. You just need to fork this project and then you will get the front end page. So just do fork. You're gonna fork in this in a couple of seconds. It will be under your repository. So you will see front end folder here. Index.html file. That's your front end page. Before we need to publish it. So we need to go to settings. Go to manager access. And there's a public repository. You want to make sure it's public and that can be viewed by anyone here. Source. So you need to define a source. Right now it's we put a must branch. It's public and visible to anyone. That's the site, your page, your GitHub page website. You can copy this, you will need it later on. Right now, there's a no index page layer to show because it's a different folder. So let me go back to our master branch, ODI. So we have a front end page. We're gonna add it this index.html file. We're gonna copy our OneDrive folder, OneDrive URL into the SCF gateway, which is our backend. You can change your name. Change your name to something else and then save it. Commit change. Remember when you use in the back end link you will not get you nothing here. But when you use in front and connection, you should be able to visit the website. After a couple of seconds, maybe a couple of minutes, the folder is going to show up. So we have we are under the test folder, we have test one. So we are showing test one. So right now we can upload in small things. Maybe upload in a plain text document there and then we can verify. Wait. Okay, let's go back, test one. Okay, now we come here. Refresh page, test one. So you will see the text and then you will see the content inside. You can share, you can quote it, you can download it. That's all. So you can use your OneDrive as your share folder to share with your friends. Oh, uh, by the way, if you want to use in a password to protect your folder, on the test one, you can create a new text file. Dot password. And you can put the password in. Um, you need to rename it. You cannot have .txt at the back end. So basically, let's go back. So 
we need to create a new file and then put on the folder. New and uh, say dot password dot txt first, and we gotta change it. Add it. We're gonna put the one, two, three, four, five, six. Save, and then we change the name to the Mola extension. Load and remove this one. Okay, so let's go back. <laughs> Refresh. If you need to go to test one, now you need to type the password one, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. It's verifying, and then you can see the content on the left folder. But uh, the test one folder has been protected by the password. You put it into dot password file. That's pretty much everything. Thank you for watching.